Starfield has received a lot of hate online, a lot of negative feedback, some positive, and a lot, well, some neutral. And I want to dive in today to kind of talk about my feelings on the game. I haven't played it yet, but I definitely have seen a lot of videos on it, and I've noticed a lot of negativity, right? we I think we all have. Tick, TikTok is full of it. Uh, I think there's some shorts about it too. Bugs, glitches, a lot of people complaining about the game itself, and most of these people haven't even play, played it yet, but now that I've seen some gameplay, I've seen actual people playing it, I've seen a couple of reviews, I've gotten my own type of opinion on the game. I'm thinking that Starfield is going to be a fun game. It looks fun, okay? Sky. I wasn't really into Skyrim that much. I think if Skyrim had... Or if Skyrim was Starfield, I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more. Because I was I'm not really into swords sword play, like unless it's like a movie or something. But game wise, I I did that's actually not a hundred percent true. I did like Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I love the combat in in that game, but I, but but I think a lot of people did, or they hated the story in, in in that game. It was either you liked the combat or you hated the story. But I but either way, Starfield has a lot of detail in it, and um, think about Starfield as being a a hit that Skyrim ha or sorry that Bethesda has not been able to do in a very long time. So think about think about Starfield as Bethesda's saving grace almost because it looks like from a lot of the reviews I've been seeing that it actually is a good game. And it and it looks it it's fun. Like it looks fun. Um the gunplay looks a little bit off uh, especially in third person, but I think first person uh is going to be a better experience for most people. For third third person's got kind of a weird instance to it as far as fire rate recoil etc et but first person seems sim similar to a AAA type ty title but i but i don't i i don't think that it's going to be similar to like a AAA title like call of duty or halo or something along those lines so you're not going to get something like that but you're definitely going to get something very similar it feels like fallout it feels like skyrim uh but you're in space and I don't want to just compare it to that. I I want to, I want to set the stage as this looks like a very fun, entertaining game, which will bring you numerous amounts of hours of joy, especially if you are into space type of games, free roam, ex space exploration type of games. That's something that you will probably enjoy if you're into that kind of thing. Um, I'm not really. I kind of like the idea of being able to travel in space in a video game. Um, but the good thing that I saw, one of the very good things was, was travel. So there's a lot of fast travel. So in Tom Clancy's The Division in a bunch of different games where it's more of like an open world, like go find something to do type, type of thing. The fast travel is far and few between. You have to run to a lot of places, especially you have to like discover places. You have to get the time, get, get the fast travel. Then you have to, you know, uh, unlock the beacon of fast travel in some areas or in some games. Uh, this is not Starfield. This is just me comparing. So Starfield is very liberal whenever it comes to fast travel. Uh, there is one video and I will quote, not quote, but I will give you um, the name of the creator force gaming. If you have not seen force gaming, uh, go ahead and check out his channel. But he essentially says that it's very, very easy to fast travel. You're 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 not getting you know. You you could pretty much be a hundred miles away from your your spaceship, and you can just fast travel from your map, standing in the middle of like a desert, to that place that you want to fast travel like on a different planet. So you don't even have to run back to your ship. Like you can just run. You can just do it in the middle of the desert. Then if your ship has like that capability to go there, then you could just go through a loading screen, go onto your ship, and that's it. You're just you're right off the planet. So essentially, there's no reason for you to spend time in space because you can even fast travel from planet to planet, especially if you've been there. So there is not 
a huge amount of time spent flying around in space, hitting asteroids, getting, you know, attacked by pirates or whatever. Which for some people might be a disappointment, but I'm thinking that for a lot of people, especially like myself, I I don't like to not have fast travel stuff because I I think it's always like a waste of time running 16 miles from one objective to to another, which could take me 10, 20 minutes in real life to do it, if not longer. So, uh, but there are people that like to play those ways. So me personally, I like the fast travel option. I love how it's like spread. It's like sp- it's just vomited everywhere. I, I, I love that aspect. So I have that option. But the good news is for people that like to explore, you can still do that. Like you can still go on your ship, go fight people, dog fight pe- people in space, you know, go travel around the desert for like 30, 40 minutes, you know, go around in circles and whatever else and try to find, you know, materials and whatever else. Um, that's still in the game. So there, this... I think that this game has gotten too much hate too fast from people that haven't play, played it yet. The same can, can be said about a lot of Call of Duty games, but I think that a lot of these companies have set the stage of how bad a lot of these games are. But I think Starfield, we might want to give a little bit of a chance because th- th- there is some innovation going on here and we have to kind of give give it a chance. There actually has not been that many gl- glitches in Starfield as most other Bethesda games that I've noticed. So there's like character glitches. There's, there's like the usual shit, right? Like things glitch into the ground and NPCs glitch into the ground. You know, people start spinning in circles or spazzing out things, you know, cameras go through rocks like that. That kind of shit's usual, right? You're, you're not, it's not like you're not going to see that in a game. Like, this is a AAA title. This is something where, you know, you can't catch every single glitch. That I understand. Um, and sometimes I might even be a little bit too harsh on these games as far as, you know, glitches and just just overall gameplay, right? But but I think that we should that we should actually be giving Starfield a chance in this, in, in, in this sense because I feel like it's going to be a very well-explored... Ex- game like it's going to be this is a large game it's got a thousand planets and there are a lot of pois in those planets so point of interest uh anything in between there's a lot of filler stuff so it's not like skyrim or like like uh fallout where you are you know there's there's pois but then there's like a lot more maybe like animals or um you know different materials to harvest or whatever there is some of that but it depends on the planet depends if the planet is habitable or not uh sometimes you may face like giant spider crab creatures or something along those lines again depends on the environment you know if it can actually sustain life some planets are just desert and they have you know just materials that you can harvest or mine or whatever uh, in between that and the POI. The POIs are very heavily, you know, there's loot everywhere. There's always stuff to do in the POIs. There are tons of side missions, side quests. There's a lot of different things to do aside from the main mission. So for the main story of the campaign. So there's, you're not going to be bored playing this game. There's also the option after you pretty much, this is a little bit of a spoiler, but not really. You can restart the game with your abilities which i'll talk about in a second and then your you can start just like completely with nothing so uh there's abilities also in the game where you get like different abilities to like maybe create like some kind of oxygen bubble there's uh, x-ray vision the way that it was done it seems like it's very i was wondering what the hell it was there's like a boost too you can for movement so like you have a jet pack but then you also have like a of a, a power boost or something you can like boost yourself forward. It's only like a couple feet, but it's not very far. But it helps with movement, especially if you're you know going to a POI or going you're trying to travel a planet uh, on foot. It does help cut down some time. So there's these cool abilities. Uh, you can see the videos if you want to, to to see like the full list, or you can play the game yourself. But there are just know that there are kind of abilities that that they incorporated into the game, and. From from what I've seen, I can honestly say it looks like it's going to be a fun game. It, it's it's something it's something where I think some people 
it, there's a there's a style for a lot of different players. So there's the style where if you want to be a space explorator and like go and fight dog fight people in space, like that's that option's there. You don't have to fast travel it everywhere. But there then there are people that don't want to do that and don't want to spend like 90% of their time in space. You can just fast travel to, to places, especially if you visited it or, or, or already. Um, you have like a warp drive, so you can pretty much visit wherever you want. What what else is there that we can really talk about? I mean, I I'm I'm I I don't play Bethesda games that often. Like I never really played Fallout. I never really played Sky Skyrim. There's been a lot of complaints about them just re-releasing Sky Skyrim or different versions of Skyrim. Um, but you know if there's a fan favorite, you're gonna keep. If there's money in it, they're gonna keep doing it. So, Starfield is a far out project for, for, for them. There, there is, there is a lot to explore and there's a lot of POIs that are meant to be explored. And then there's the side quest type of POIs that can be explored. So there's a difference there, but overall the game is going to be an interesting, an interesting play. Um, I mean, a lot of people have put in over a hundred hours, a thousand hours into it already. So a lot of the videos that I watched, there were people that put a thousand hours into it. So a lot of the information, a lot of this, where I'm coming from is just from strictly like, you know, it, it, we can't keep being negative about everything, but we also, we also can't shit on things that are new, that are, that are being innovative. That's the thing, you know, because Call of Duty, at the end of the day, when I think when they think in, in, in innovation, it's like they ask for something, let's give them something else. Or, you know, we want boots on the ground, modern warfare. And they're like, yeah, we'll, we'll give you Vanguard. You know, like that's that's kind of what I'm talking about whenever Call of Duty does that kind of stuff. But like other companies, I think, have been trying really diff, like hard, di you know, new things. They were trying new things, trying to be innovative, trying to create a new game that we will all enjoy. But... Starfield feels like that game. It feels like that is going to be the game that is, that changes the way that we play games because there's it's such a crazy. There's a lot of info in the game. There's a lot of different things in in the game. So that's something to keep in mind when you're gonna pick up this title, is that there's so much to do. So you're you're gonna easily be able to put in a thousand hours, and probably not even scratch the surface of what the game has to it has entailed for for you. So keep keep that in mind when you go to buy buy this game. You know, you're going to you may have to put in 10,000 hours to actually get like a real to get a real feeling of what the game's going to feel like. 